So today we're talking about the line burner. They also call these buggos or track burners. Basically what this unit is, is it's a gas cutting torch, an oxy fuel cutting torch on a machine that drives on tracks. You're all gonna use this thing. They can be a touch finicky to get adjusted right. You gotta get the torch adjusted with the travel speed of the machine, just like welding, just like anything else. So the first thing we do when we come in the room is we turn the exhaust fan on. One click, off, on, okay? Exhaust fan is going. When we come over here to the machine, here's the controls. So right now it's just freewheeling on these tracks. And the first thing you want to do when you get in here in the morning or in the afternoon is look in these tracks because they get slag and they get dirt in them. And when these wheels roll over them, they can wiggle the torch. So just come in and blow those tracks off. I've already cleaned them off this morning so they're nice and clean. Let's talk about these components. We come in here, we have our fuel gas. So we turn our fuel gas on, we turn the fuel gas on here and adjust about 10 pounds of fuel gas. We have to turn the oxygen on. The oxygen's set at about 75 pounds. Okay, here's our oxygen lever for those of you that never ran a cutting torch before. We'll get to that in a second. Right now let's talk about the machine. So we've got one switch on here that turns the machine on, it moves it forward, or neutral, or reverse. Now you might be saying to yourself, well why is it not moving? Because I haven't engaged the clutch yet. So check it out, we turn it on, and it's not moving. Over here, we have, it's called drive and free. So if I flip this lever up, now the machine moves or I can stop it and bring it back. Or I could just push the lever down and move it however I want. Think about this as a clutch. So your engine is running and your clutch is in. Right now my engine is running. I flick the clutch in and it starts moving. One more control on this is the high-low. This is speed at which this thing will move. So you can adjust it up or down how fast it's going to move across the tracks. What you want to make sure to do is when you're done cutting your plate, make sure that you don't leave this thing on because it'll roll off the end of the tracks and hit the floor. We don't want that. So when you're done cutting, you put it in neutral, shut it off, and then you can walk away. Those are the basic controls. And again, if you don't understand something, if you're having a hard time, get your instructor in here. We're just getting you going on this stuff. Now let's move to the torch. You basically have three controls on the torch head. So this one lowers and raises the torch. This one angles the torch. So we can put this torch in any angle we want for the bevels we're gonna cut. We can put it straight up and down. We can kick it off to the side. We can do whatever we need. And this last one moves the torch in and out, okay? If you come around to this side, you can see that there's a gauge over here. This is our, this is our angle for our cuts, okay? So we're gonna put the gauge up here, lower our piece down and see just where we wanna be. Your welding procedure and your instructors will show you the bevels that you're gonna to need to cut these plates. So we've got the machine figured out pretty good. Next step is this. We're gonna clamp our plates up on here and we wanna get them. I usually take this edge and I line it right up so it's flush. That way I know that this plate is fairly straight. Now, I bring my torch down I lower it about a quarter of an inch off and I can see that this thing is moving pretty straight across there. I'm just doing a free run on this thing and if it looks like it's off a little bit I might just tap this to straighten it up a little. Just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to fire up the torch and we're going to cut some metal. So. I have 
my gear in, but it's still in neutral, okay? First thing I do, red line, this is your fuel gas. I'm gonna turn that on about a quarter of a turn. And I'm gonna strike the arc to light it. If you notice the soot coming up, that means you need a little bit more gas. And that is one of the tricks to learn in this machine, is you wanna bring this gas up till it's coming off the tip a little bit. Then I'm gonna add oxygen really slow and it'll jump back to the tip. Now I don't want too much fuel and I don't want too much oxygen. If it's hissing like that, reduce the oxygen. We want a nice calm flame. Okay, the only other component to this is this lever, which is the oxygen. So what we're gonna do is bring this up to the edge now, and we're gonna let it get hot. The metal's gonna turn red. I have my engine running. I'm gonna have my finger on the oxygen lever, and as that metal gets hot, all in one motion, I'm gonna flip the oxygen up and engage the machine. Okay, so let me get my hood on and we'll try a cut. Here we go. I'm letting the metal get red hot. I have my hand on the oxygen lever. But when it gets hot, I flick them both off and let the machine go to work. It'll take just a minute. Now your speed is going to be dependent on how nice it cuts. When you get a good speed and you get a good torch, uh, flame temperature, what you end up with is a really nice beveled cut. Better than a saw can do in most cases. So if we look right down here, I'm at the end. I come in and flip my oxygen off. I disengage the motor. I turn the engine off, turn the torch off, and what I end up with is a beautifully beveled plate. You're all going to do these for your bend test that you do. You're all going to have much time on this machine, and you want to take your time and get good at it. Remember, Adjust the flame so it's a neutral flame. It's not violent and noisy. If it sounds funny, it is funny. You're going to heat the metal up on the edge, flick the thing, hit the oxygen, and it'll cut every time. Do some practice cuts out of the scrap bin before you cut your plates for your test and just fiddle around with this thing for a little bit. It's capable of making excellent cuts very cheaply and clean.